Further down, they told me there's a few parts near the Kenya-Somali border that I shouldn't go to. It literally says Kenya-Somali border counties. Basically says don't go to the Kenya-Somali border because of Somali pirates and maybe kidnappings or something. Yeah. And then it specifically says coastal areas, don't Yama go to Wangu County. County. <laughs> this guy brought me here. <laughs> That's just part of the scheme. Maybe, maybe it is to get some money from... That so we'll find out. We'll see if Long is actually that dangerous. Government, U.S. Embassy told me not to come mm. here. But this house is pretty awesome. So we're first going to just show you this house a little bit, give you a little house tour, and see how epic it really is, and actually probably why you should come here. Mm. I'm just going to close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here. All these empty faces talking about problems I don't care. I can't wait till sundown because my body's aching. <sighs> This is our balcony. I just wanna dance. This is our bedroom. Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Everybody's carefree. Everybody's carefree. Don't you wanna party? This is the bathroom. Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? So this is the living room. I'm gonna show you the the front the front balcony. Where we get all our delicious meals. And this is Shirley Fantastic Room. Yeah. I'm about to lose my mind, I'm going crazy. What? Lately, this is Asa's room? This is. Second room out of five. Yeah, there's five rooms. The master balcony of office room. Now we're going to go check out his bathroom because it's got one of the best views for a bathroom I've ever seen. Don't you want to party? Sitting in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Don't you want to party? And this is the bathroom. And then behind us here, basically there's two other rooms that look about the same, but uh, shared rooms, conjoining bathroom, super cool, but don't have time to show it all now. So swimming's done. We're now about to go to Lamu. Lamu. We're actually Lamu. going to Lamu now. Lamu. The town. The CBD. The CBD of, of Lamu. Lamu. We're leaving the Runda. We're leaving the Runda. And we're also gonna try and find some spots to take some photos. Yeah. And, uh, and have some fun, yeah. Yeah, have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah.
think so. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. We're now in Longwood City. Hit you up, I'm on the other side. I miss you. Miss Basically, there's just a lot of donkeys here and kind of bizarre. Came me way to strong, cannot keep it low key. Well, you should actually just say, Lamu Island doesn't have any cars. They just got like motorized vehicles, like motorcycles, recently. Yeah. We're checking out the Lamu House Hotel Moonrise Restaurant. Lamu House Hotel Moonrise. Where you at? Let the photo shoot begin. Probably just want her by that boat and that door. We gotta go, we're getting kicked out. Gotta get my backpack. So it's done. That was good. Found myself in between the lines underneath. They just weren't comfortable with us taking photos and stuff when we're not staying there. Yeah. What we're doing now is we're moving locations and keep on our way to Old, Old Town. Town. It's called Old Town. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Every time you walk away from me, I so this is our guide. Yeah. Your name is Ali. Ali. Ali Sultan. We're very happy that you guys are here and we like people to come from different places to visit our area. You're most welcome. There's bats up there. So this road, Harambe Road, is where the water used to extend to in Lamu before they pushed it all the way out to the seafront. From pillar to post, there's no denial. I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post, hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold. Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why in gravity pulling you in closer to me? Where you Sonic's about to do his magic. <laughs> so back here we have Sonic doing his thing again, getting that portrait shot. Yeah, that was good. It's like every time I go out on a new place, it's like I need one good location. And this is, is it? it. Yeah, this is pretty good. Feel happy about it. The colors, the colors. We're heading back to the boat. Lamu is super picturesque. I mean, um, there are lots of good, good alleys, uh, intricate alleys, which have a lot of texture, a lot of color, a lot of grit. The people are nice. People are friendly. It's got that old town vibe, like you know, stuck in time. Uh, a lot of influences from different cultures, which I find very interesting. And uh, yeah, definitely for for someone like me who loves doing fashion shoots, editorial shoots, it's like it's amazing. I love it. So that's 
the end of our Lamu tour. Welcome to my crab. Let us know what you guys thought, if you liked it, what you think of Lamu. If you need any contacts or phone numbers for people who can help you do things in Lamu. Yeah, if you do go into the Medina or the, the what is it? Where Old is it? Town. Old Town, you probably need some kind of like... Guide. Guide. Well, generally it's probably better to go with a guide just because you're not so sure about what the cultural rules are and yeah. where to go and things and a guide's usually able to help you figure yeah. things like that out. Yeah. So. Mainly if it's your foreigner and you're going to stick out, <laughs> you might want to get a guide. But otherwise, if you love swimming and nice houses and super fun people and, and donkeys. delicious food that you food. didn't get to see any of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if that's if that stuff is dangerous, call along and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> is that too cheesy? And then, if you don't know how to swim. For any of the people that were in this, there was Asif, who's a photographer here in Kenya doing a lot of cool stuff. Jay as well, uh, Sonic, and Juliet. Juliet. And Juliet. We'll put all their yeah. IGs below so you guys can see and stuff. Anyways, we're done.